English one, lesson number three, the letter. It's a poem. Okay. So children, if you are far away from your parents, friends, or relatives, how do you communicate with them? Through phone calls, sending emails, etc. Right. Now, nowadays communication has become so easy. But in earlier days, people used to write letter for communication. In this letter, in this poem, the letter, we will see how the poetess has written a letter to her mother. So all of you take out your self or textbook and keep a pencil with you. We will mark the keywords while reading. Okay? So all of you take page number 20. Lesson number 3, the letter. I am writing a letter to send it by the post. It is to the person I care for the most. I write the date clearly and put the address, underline address. And begin, dearest mummy, did anyone guess? My pen travels slowly all down the long sheet because I am so anxious, underline anxious. Because I am so anxious to keep it all neat. I carefully blot it to dry up the ink. Such nice bloating paper. Underline bloating. The color is pink. I turn the page over and then goes my pen. Till lastly come kisses. There is just room for ten. The envelope is ready. Underline envelope. I put the stamp on and run to the post box and now it has gone. Written by Margaret G. Rhodes. Once more I will just read the poem. Listen carefully. I am writing a letter to send it by the post. It is to the person I care for the most. I write the date clearly and put the address and begin Dearest mummy, did anyone guess? My pen travels slowly all the down the long sheet because I am so anxious to keep it all neat. I carefully blot it to dry up the ink. Such nice blotting paper, the color is pink. I turn the page over and then goes my pen till lastly come kisses. There is just room for ten. The envelope is ready. I put the stamp on and run to the post box and now it has gone. Written by Margaret G. Rhodes. Children, now look at the keywords and its names. Okay, first one, address. A, B, D, R, E, S, S. Address. Address means what? The number of the building and the name of the street and place where somebody lives or works. Next, anxious. A-N-X-I-O-U-S. Anxious means very eager. Next, bloating paper. B-L-O-T-T-I-N-G. Bloating, P-A-P-E-R. Bloating paper means a kind of paper used to absorb excess ink. What is bloating paper? A kind of paper used to absorb Excess ink. Next, envelope. E N V E L O P E. Envelope means a paper cover for a letter. What is an envelope? A paper cover for a letter. Now, I am explaining this poem. Listen carefully. I am writing a letter to send by the post. It is to the person I care for the most. So, the poetess is writing a letter to be sent by post. The poet is writing a letter to be sent by post. And it is to whom? To the person I care for the most. The poetess is sending a letter by post to the person whom she cares most. I write the date clearly and put the address and begin dearest mummy. Yes. So, how the poet is going to write the letter? First, the poet is saying she will write the page clearly and she will put address. And then how she will start? Dearest mummy. Did anyone guess the poet is asking? My pen travels slowly all down the long sheet because I am so anxious to keep it all neat. 
the poetess started writing a letter to her mother then how she started writing she started writing by her using pen started writing slowly all down the long sheet because she was so anxious she was so eager afraid and because she wanted to keep that letter neat so so she started writing slowly and neatly by using pen I carefully blotted to dry up the ink. Such nice blotting paper. The color is pink. And the poet is saying that I carefully blotted, dry it. How to dry up the ink? Such nice blotting paper. The color is pink. To dry up the ink by using pen, she has written right. So after writing, she wanted to dry up the ink by using the blotting paper. Kind of paper used to absorb excess ink in the letter. Suddenly, after writing, if you close, the ink may spread everywhere, right? So, because of that, the poetess was so careful to dry up the ink by using blotting paper, and the color of the blotting paper was pink. I turned the page over and then goes my pen till lastly, come kisses. There is just room for. So after writing first page, again she turned the next page, and she had completed her letter writing. And till lastly comes kisses. There is just room for ten. At the end of the letter, she gave kisses to her mother. How many kisses? Ten kisses. That much space only was there in the letter. So the poetess gave ten kisses to her mother at the end of the letter. Then. The envelope is ready. I put the stamp on and run to the post box, and now it has gone. So the poetess has completed her letter writing. Right? So she wrote by using pen neatly. She wrote slowly. After writing, she dried it up by using blotting paper, and the color of the blotting paper was pink. Then at the end of the letter, she gave ten kisses to her mother. Now the letter is completed. Now what is required? The envelope. Now the envelope is also ready. Envelope means what? A paper cover for a letter. If we want to send a letter, we need a cover. Okay. So her envelope was ready. She put the letter inside the envelope, and outside we have to write the address. Then only it will go and reach the right person. After the envelope is ready, we have to put a stamp. If you are sending by post a letter, we have to put a stamp on the envelope. So the poetess made her envelope ready, and she put the stamp on the envelope. And next, what the poetess did? She ran to the post office, and now it has gone. So I ran to the post box. We have to place the letter in the post box. See. This may not be familiar for you right now, right, children? So sometimes you observe while going out somewhere. You can see in front of the post post office. This is post box. After the envelope is ready, put the stamp on. Then you have to put the letter inside this post box. After that, it will be sent to her mother. Okay. So this poem was written by Margaret G. Rose. So children, I hope you all understood how the poetess has written uh, the letter to her mother. All of you read this poem very well. Okay. Now we will move on to the TK exercises. Now all of you take out page number twenty-one. TK exercises. First main A. Choose the correct option. The poet is writing dash what a poem. B. An essay. C. A letter. What the poet was writing? A letter, right? So put a tick on the option C. A letter, and you have to write in the blank as well. You have to write the poet is writing a letter. The poet is writing a letter to her a friend. B. Mother. C. Father. To whom the poet was writing a letter? To her mother, right? So put a tick in the box and you have to write here also okay next third one the poet spent travel slowly because she is thinking and writing b 
is not in hurry. C wants to keep the letter neat. The answer is option C. Put a tick in this box and you have to write here also. The poet's pen travels slowly because she wants to keep the letter neat. Next, what color is the blotting paper? A. Green. B. White. C. Pink. Color is pink. So put a tick in this box. Next, how many kisses does the poet give to her mother? A. 5. B. 10. C. 15. How many kisses? B. 10. Right. So put a tick in this box. Okay, next me, read the words woodcutter, riverbed and firewood. They are called compound words as they are made by joining two words. You remember right children, we have learned in grammar compound words. Now look at the pictures and write the compound words. You can look up a dictionary also. Fire, fire given, two pictures are given. You have to find a new word for making a compound word. Fire. Who is this? Firefighter. So you write here in the blank. Fighter. Firefighter. And what is this? Fire. Wood. So write here. Wood. Firefighter. Fire. Wood. F I G H T E R. F I R E W O O D. Fire. Wood. Next, wood. What is this? What is he doing? Who is he? Wood cutter. So, write wood cutter. C U T T E R. Wood cutter. Wood. What is this? House. So, write here house. Wood house. Wood cutter. Wood house. Now, next, D main. In these words, the letters U O O O. And O, U are pronounced A. Uh. Okay. Below some words are given. Uh, but the letters in those words U, O, O, O and O, U are pronounced as A. Uh. Now let read the words aloud. See B, L, O, O, D. It is pronounced as blood. Double O, A, uh, A. Uh, blood. Okay. Next D, U, C, K. U here is pronounced as Duck, a, h u t, ha, hut, a, hut, c o u n t r y, country, o u is pronounced as a, country, f r o n t, friend, how it is pronounced as o, a, friend, next, s t u c k, stuck, stuck, u is pronounced as a, stuck. Next, C O U S I N, cousin, k. O U is pronounced as a, cousin. G U N, gun, g un. U is pronounced as a. U N D E R, under, a. U is pronounced as a here, okay? Now, in these phrases, and is usually pronounced just n, okay? Now, read them aloud. Back and forth, but we can pronounce it as back and forth. Round and round, round and round. Bread and butter, to and fro. And no need to pronounce completely, okay? Guns and roses, guns and roses. Up and down, up and down. So generally like this and are pronounced as N, okay? Now here... Creative writing. Write a letter to your mother thanking her for all she has done for you. You have to write a letter. A letter format is given. You have to write this. All of you have to write like this neatly in your textbook. Okay? So children, creative writing. You have to write this in your textbook.
Such a wonderful mom. In my life. Thank you for always being there. You're the best mother in the world. Below they have given yours. Below that you have to write your name. Okay? You have to write your name here. Don't write just name. Okay? You have to write your name. Okay? So, now see. First you have to write the address. Now, after that, date. Then the salutation here from me. Here it is already there. Now, you have to write the body of the letter. How are you? I hope you are fine. Thank you mom for doing everything possible and always made me proud of you. I'm so lucky to have such a wonderful mom in my life. Thank you for always being there for me. I love you so much mommy. You are the best mother in the world. After that, just write your name below. So all of you, hope you will see your textbook without mistakes. Okay? children.